What's up my dudes? <laughs> so today is going to be a great day. The bike is coming out of the shop and we're going on the road. Just down to the gas station. It's cold. It's like 50 degrees down here in Alabama and we down here in the south don't like it if it gets below 60. So for y'all that are up north, bite me. Okay? You know, yeah. You guys are used to it. We're not. Even if I'm a fat guy, I get a little bit more insulation. But first things first, we're going to put some gas in this thing. When we get it outside, we're going to go to the gas station. All right. Here we go. First thing we're going to do is we'll put a little bit of gas in here just to get it down to the gas station because this thing is sitting on empty. It me is empty, empty. So here we go. Let it flow, let it flow. Yeah, all that's the junk that's getting hauled off to the dump. That's the old headlights, the old fairings and stuff that's not getting used. Um, we're just going to haul all that off and just be rid of it. But right now, i got to get this out of the way. Get this door open. There's some stuff outside i got to get moved. But uh, once we get there, I'll turn the camera back on and uh, we'll get her outside. All right, so it's outside. So now it is time to take this thing on the road for the first time in forever. And I'm super excited. Okay, so I'm gonna take you guys with me. I've got my GoPro mount on the on this uh, knockoff helmet. It's a cheap one. I think I pay like thirty-five dollars for it. Like I said, it's a little chilly. It's gonna be a short ride. I'm gonna take y'all with me. The only problem is, is this camera doesn't support an external mic. Since it doesn't support an external mic, I'm probably not going to leave too much of the sound in because of the wind noise is going to be really bad. You won't be able to hear me talking, but I may do a, uh, a voice overlay of it. Uh, I haven't decided yet, but you guys are going to come with me, so let's get to it.
I'm just taking in the moment. Just give me a second. I uh, think I had a spiritual moment just then. I have missed that. That. Damn, I feel like I need a cigarette after that. That was almost as good as sex. That was really, really good. Man, I missed that. Yes. That was awesome. Yeah. So, successful first ride. That is the first time I have ridden that thing on the road since I got it back in July. So, a full six months not been on it. Um, I did have a little white smoke coming out of the exhaust when I first fired it up. That gave me a little bit of concern. Um, and I was a little concerned about how it would ride. So, like an idiot, once I got on the road, I realized, you know, I did not check the tire pressure in this. I think the tires might be a little low. I could kind of feel um, where they were um, they, they were a little low. The back tire is a lot more grippy than the stock tire that was on there. So this bike now kind of wants to it wants to stay upright. It doesn't like leaning over, but that could also be a tire pressure issue too. But uh, that'll be that'll be a time for the next ride. I literally just rode it down the road to the gas station, stopped, looked at it, made sure nothing fell off, and then came back. Um, but God, it was so awesome. It felt so good. It, well, my legs are freezing now. So there's that. It was cold, but so worth it. So, so worth it. Oh, I feel so much better, guys. You have no idea. It's It's been a long road. It has been a, uh, a lot of trial and error and, and, and frustration and wonder if this thing would ever ride again and yet here we are it is riding i really wish i could have had a way to, to talk to the camera while i was riding i'm hoping the camera ling the camera angle was good because i just mounted that up to my my helmet right before i took I, I got the bike out so i have no idea if the the uh the angle was good for y'all or not um i just i just i just shot it by eye just winged it I just really, today was the, the only day above 40 degrees uh, that we're going to have for the next couple of weeks. matter of fact, they're talking about us having snow in a couple of, couple of weeks. So, I wanted to get out here as soon as I could. Um, and, and just, yeah, by the way, that is an airplane. Just in case y'all weren't. Yeah, that's a, a, a Piper Tomahawk was left of one. Um, I don't know the backstory on that, but I'll find out if y'all are interested. But yeah, it's it's been a long road, man. And I am so thankful for everybody that has asked and encouraged and, and kept up with it um for everybody from you know my first sub all the way up to, to some of the bigger guys that have asked you know a spin with fan and and uh and do it with dan they, they've they, they've kept up with it and and i've talked to them about it. It, it it's it's been a very cool experience so far and i hope it continues to grow and and be a, a cool experience for everybody um I'll definitely continue to make videos. There's going to be more stuff that is going to be done to the R3. Like I said, those fairings, you can see here, they're they're scratched up and scuffed up. And most of the stuff I could probably just wipe out. I can clean and, and get it going. But, yeah, man. I've, I'm totally happy that I got to ride it again. It makes me so happy. So the next order of business is probably going to be getting new camera setups. Um, ideally what I want to get for vlogs like this where we're just sitting here talking I want to get me a nice DLSR you know a Nikon 3400 or a, a Canon a T6 or something um, and for still photography too and then I want to get a GoPro or um, the Sony uh, FDR X3000 um, action cam uh, I want to get one of those for the, the actual moto vlogs um, because I want to be able to have a mic run in. So yeah, there's there's a lot of stuff that can that can happen. Just you know the 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 age old restrictions of time, money, and and effort. So time time is something that I don't have a ton of right now because of the new job, and money is definitely limited because of all the other stuff that I've got to get done. But um, we're gonna get there. We are gonna make this happen. And uh, thank you guys. Thank you guys again. It's been awesome. So, hopefully soon I will see y'all next week. 
Um, I don't have any plans for videos in the future. I've got to... Um, i got to think of what's going to happen next. The next, the, next, the next video may be me taking the bike down to the dealership to have all the fluids changed. Uh, I'm, I'm going to have a complete service done on it. All the fluids are going to get flushed and changed. Um, maybe they got some spare bolts that they can give me some of the things that are missing. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get them to do all that because it needs an oil change. And, and I don't want to burn the motor up. I just want to get this one right in. So we may trailer it down there. I'll take you guys along for that ride. Maybe they'll let me film. Maybe they won't. I don't know. I'll have to, to contact them. So, but anyway, if you guys have any thoughts, comments, words of encouragement, criticisms, whatever, down in the description, obviously, uh, you guys can, or comments, rather, y'all can uh, let me know. And, of course, always like, subscribe, all that gibberish that people put at the end and uh, y'all have a good one where are my manners we just had a successful first ride an epic epic progression and moment for this build series and i didn't even have a yoohoo so we have to rectify that right now <laughs> Ah!